Light up the world with a little more truth. I got a couple more words. What is up, guys? It is Nisho here, and um, I can tell you guys, I really think Blue Eyes went Fire Emblem with, with this support. Especially when I look at the first one. He kind of looks like Ike. It's pretty cool, actually. So, basically, all the new Blue Eyes support is just two, two new tuners that are level one. A new version of Blue Eyes is called White Spirit Dragon and a Synchro. I know I'm a little late to the party, but um, I'm doing this because uh, there's a Blue Eyes um, promo in the movie coming out, so, you know, they're branding Blue Eyes right now, which I think is pretty good. You know, they're bringing back entire decks based off of single cards of the old series, which is actually pretty nice, especially when they look like like this. And, um, yeah, I, I, I really like how they're doing this. You know, personally, I really like the, the Buster Blader the, the most. Because that, um, I, I just like the whole, the, the way it plays, the whole theme. It's kind of like Dragoon Knees and, you know, whatever. You're here for Blue Eyes, so let's talk Blue Eyes. All right, so the first one that looks like Ike is called Guard with Eyes of Blue, right? Level 1 tuner, 800 attack, 13 defense. You can probably see that on the card. Um, and when he's normal summon or special summon, oh no, when he's normal summon, you can special summon one, one level one tuner monster from your hand, right? So you can summon out, uh, the other tuner that's being shown, Maiden with Eyes of Blue, or the Priestess. The second effect is you can target one effect monster you control, send it to the grave, and if you do, special summon Blue Eyes monster from your hand. Right, so, you know, they, they had to, emph um, emphasize the target right for, for Maiden because Maiden is like you know probably gonna become extremely broken once all this new blue eye support comes out because this is like just screaming you have to use three Maidens with this so I guess you would have to use three of him as well probably two but I would probably use three um second off is Sage Knight with eyes of blue now this one's this one's a guy as well right yeah, 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 this one's a guy. Yeah, he's more of the mage type of guy. Um, and he's a level 1 tuner. Zero attack, 1500 defense, right? And when he's normal summoned, you can add a level 1 light... Level 1 light tuner monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of himself. So you could search Ike, or you could search uh, Maiden with Eyes of Blue, or you could search Priestess. But Priestess isn't all that, right? And his, his second effect is you could discard him. Target effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, especially when the blue eyes monster from your deck. He's the second effect is kind of what Priestess does, except better, um, because you t you discard him to target. So if you have Maiden, this is like two free blue eyes, but you know Maiden would get sent to the graveyard as well. So, I mean. I, I guess it's a free rank 8 if you have a maiden because you're gonna be special summoning out two blue eyes. Which is actually pretty pretty good actually. So the the next one is the blue eyes replacement white spirit dragon. You know, just like how every new archetype had a replacement for the old card. This is the blue eyes replacement, white spirit dragon. A light dragon level 8, 2500 attack, 2000 defense, so it has dark magician stats. Although it's supposed to be uh, blue eyes, although it's always treated as blue eyes. So this card's in your hand, a graveyard tree has no monster, right? See, now, that automatically makes it better than using a Gemini monster, because you don't have to have the whole stupid normal summoning condition, right? Uh, speaking of the devil, when this card is normal or special summoned, you can tower one spell trap card, your opponent controls, destroy it. Automatically amazing. Um... The fact it's always treated as a blue eyes card, um, that's just amazing. You see, one thing I forgot to mention is that the Ike and the Mage, right? Uh, I, I don't really know Mages from Fire Emblem. I, I, I guess you could say 
Robin, but the hair is too luscious. Anyway, so they both say special about blue eyes monsters. They don't specifically say blue eyes white dragon, which kind of gives you options to go into white spirit or into um, regular blue eyes. I don't know what other blue eyes monsters are there, you know, because the main is going to say with eyes of blue, so she's not a blue eyes monster. Um, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess that's really it. So you special out blue eyes um, monsters off of these guys, so it's pretty, it's pretty good actually. So you you can special summon white spirit dragon just as easily as the rest of them, right? And third effect of white spirit dragon is that during either player's turn. If your opponent controls a monster, you can trade this card, especially someone blue eyes white dragon from your hand. Uh, the third effect is kind of, kind of lackluster. I guess he's going to be just here for the synchro. You know, like just be special, pop a spell trap card, use for the synchro. Right. So, uh, oh yeah, and they made him a normal monster, so you can use him with um, the Azurai Silver Dragon. Which is actually a pretty, pretty nice combo. Now the last of the blue eyes, well, actually second to last because of the fusion. I forgot to mention the fusion. Um, blue eyes spirit dragon, light level nine dragon synchro monster, tuna plus one more non tuna blue eyes monsters. First effect: neither player can special summon two or more monsters at once. Right now. I remember somebody confusing this card's effect because they said, you know, pendulums only summon out two um, two monsters per turn. But no, I mean like they only summon twice per turn is is what he said, and he confused it with summoning two or more monsters at once, right? You know, text is confusing, so you can't really blame him. So this basically stops pendulum decks. Like, oh my god, so amazing! I guess this is like. The ant, like I, I guess you know, Konami wants to make this playable, wants to make this broken, so they're saying, limit your summons. Now it doesn't limit the amount of times you can summon, just how much you can summon at once. So oh, your pendulum summons, you only get two. Second effect, once per turn, when a card or card of a when the effect of a card in the graveyard activates, you can negate the activation. Wow, that is just amazing. That is just free, amazing. Third effect. Now this one's kind of long, which I, I really hope is good. During the other player's turn, you can tribute the synchro summon card, special summon dragon type light, or synchro monster from your extra deck, and face up defense position except blue eyes, shining dragon that monster destroy. During the end phase of this turn, so you special summon a dragon light type synchro monster from your extra deck and face up defense position. You see now, well I don't get is why would they make blue eyes spirit dragon right make this amazing looking card right just so i mean and give it like the amazing effect to limit the amount they could summon and negate graveyard effects just so you could tribute it to summon out azure eyes or any dragon like synchro monster but you know if azure eyes won't be destroyed during the end phase if you special Azure Eyes, if you special out any other dragon monster, you know, could else do you during the end phase. And it will be stupid to, to, to do that during your opponent's turn since uh, it won't stay there until your turn. So, I... I actually like it. I actually like this support. This is... This is what Konami needs to do more often. You know, make some Fire Emblem looking cards and, you know, make a make what was a lackluster structure deck actually pretty playable. Now, before I forget the fusion, I, I was just about to end the video, I forgot the fusion. Blue Eyes, Twin Burst Dragon. Light Dragon Fusion Effect Level 10, same stats as Blue Eyes. All he needs is two Blue Eyes to summon him. This card cannot be special summoned except by a fusion summoning 
you end the following method. You send the above featured materials you control in your monster zones to the graveyard and special to cover from your extra deck. Kinda like Ritual Beasts? I mean, kinda like the Ritual Glad Beast um, summoning condition. First off, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Alright, so he gains a head and he can't be destroyed by battle. That's cool. Second effect, you get attacked right twice during each battle phase. Alright, two heads, that makes sense. If only Blue Eyes Ultimate could attack three times. If this card did not destroy an opponent's monster in battle, at the end of the damage step, banish that opponent's monster. So, I'm assuming that third effect is for also when you get attacked as well. And... This card looks like it'll be in the Kabakorp, um rarity that uh, the movie promo is going to be in as well. Based on the image, because it has that little thing on it. Which actually looks pretty cool. And if you didn't know, um, I'm going to have the movie promo video up as well. Uh, when making, I mean, when putting up this video, so you can check both these out. So, if this card not show a opponent's monster in the battle, at the end of the damage step, banish that as opponent's monster. All right, so this guy is basically like Glad Beast 10.0. Um, I guess he could do pretty well. I mean, Cosmo ain't got ain't got nothing on this guy. They're, they're gonna have to get Cosmo's gonna have to get rid of him some other way. He did this guy, this guy a different breed. All right, <laughs> this is what this is actually pretty good support. I guess this is what um the mage is for because the mage is you discard the mage, you special out a blue target maiden, maiden summons out blue eyes, he summons out blue eyes, and then you can send both those blue eyes to go for the fusion, which is pretty amazing. That's this is like amazing tech right here. Or if you don't feel like doing that, you could just go for the synchro and then go for Azure Eyes and then, You know, this this freaking support is freaking amazing. I, I'm telling you, Konami really needs to do this more often. I guess it's because of the movie next year that we're getting all this old nostalgia archetypes. I mean, all this nostalgia decks based off of nostalgia cards, you know? And I guess I'm gonna have to end a year. You know, this, this I'm really at a loss of words. Um, just tell me, guys. Just tell me what you guys think because this stuff to me is just amazing. Um, in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one.